Hey guys, Jess here. I am back with another 20 minute motivator. I've got some stuff to take care of. As you can see here, my project tray is overflowing and we gotta deal with it um, because I need room. And I just, you know, I walk by this every day and uh, I need to make time to take care of it. So, what better opportunity to do so than as a part of the 20 minute motivator. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jess. We do all things craft and organization and scrapbooking on this channel. So if you like what you see and need some motivation, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the little notification bell so you see all my uploads. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your support. I'm so glad you're here. So let's take this opportunity to be productive together and let's tackle something that's been bugging us. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the timer and we're gonna set it 20 minutes and here we go. All right, so I hope you guys all are well. I'm good, it's beautiful weather up here. Um, summer is officially here. All right, and we're enjoying it, I'm outside a lot. So the, what's on this tray, you're probably wondering here. So I had a... Um, a, my boss actually um, uh, had uh, some family members that had passed and one of them was a scrapbooker and he had given me a bunch of scrapbooking stuff to go through to see if I wanted anything and so a lot of this is from that. I also have a couple of purchases in here that I, I found. Kind of just a little bit of a hodgepodge of things that I've been given and bought that just need a home. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So this is a paper pad, but it's actually full of transparencies, which I thought were super cool. So that's gonna go with my paper pads. I've got cardstock, like look, red for Christmas, yay. So we need to put those in their home. So I'm actually going to put these in their own pile. I got this at uh, Tate's, which is like a overstock warehouse um, store locally here, and it's a really cute like hello stamp and die with a couple of sayings, but I just love the hello and the fact that it comes with a die for three bucks. I couldn't pass it up. So that's going to go with my stamps and dies. I have some alphas, which were kind of fun and whimsical. I kind of picked these for like school layouts, preschool layouts. Um, these were in that that bag that was given to me. It looks like there's different styles in here. So these will go with my six by twelves. Um, there were some cute baby girl things. I don't know, I didn't mean to keep these. Oh, but these were gonna be given. I was gonna give these away. Cause I have somebody who's, um, going to be having a baby girl in their life. So I wanted to keep these. I mean, these are so cute, so, so cute. And I just love that one and this one, the little baby facts, it's not adorable. So yeah, these are actually meant to be given away. So I'll put those in their own pile. Oh, and then this grandparents, transparencies. I don't know if you can see, there we go, super cute. All right, and so then I also had some Mod Podge that was given. So those, I think we're going to put with my adhesives, or paint, yeah, put them in with my adhesives in my little tray here. And we have Craft Bone Memory Book Glue Pen. So this is another type of adhesive, a liquid glue, we're trying at least. You know, I'll actually probably put that in the same container with all my other glues. All right, I had hit up <clears throat> a couple of thrift stores over the past week or two, and I always like to take a glance, sorry, that's really loud, at their craft section, because you never know what you're gonna find. And I found, some embellishments. So this one's hard to see because the sticker is like 
on top of it, but it's um, little metal like dog embellishments. I thought those were really cute. And I do have dogs, so I'm gonna put those with my embellishments. And then there was this cute soccer one. Wyatt wants to play soccer this fall, so I thought that was really cute. It would be fun to have these little bits and pieces to lay out. And then there was a scuba diving one. I didn't even see that because it was buried. I like the swim trunks and the goggles. I have pictures of Wyatt wearing those, so we could probably use those. Um, Harley Davidson, not my jam. And these chipboard pieces, I could probably let go, not really my thing. So these will be, um, I'll probably donate those. And then we have an X-Acto knife. You really honestly can't have too many of these. So this I'm just going to put right to the right of me. And then the little blades I have in my drawer. These are just so handy to have. Trash. Then we have I picked these up, Project Life, yep, again, at Goodwill, a brand new packet. I'm not, like, a huge fan of the round corners of Project Life. However, I'll, I find that I can just trim them down, um, and they work just as well, or I use them in layouts, but I really <laughs> loved the ephemera pe packages in there. So I'll probably stick these cards in with my Project Life, and then the embellishments I'll put in a baggie. So there's that. And I found Halloween pocket cards. I was so psyched about this. Um, all different fun, black and orange. Oh my God, you guys know how much I love Halloween. So I found these and I was like, oh, I need these in my life. Well, need is like a loose term, right? <laughs> But I had to have them because they were Halloween. So I'll probably put these with my Halloween drawer so they're all together. Like, look how fun that is. I wanted to do um, a Halloween album for each of us as, you know, Halloween through the year. So obviously my husband and I will have more pictures because we're a lot older. But start a Halloween album for each of the kids too. So how fun would it be to be able to include these? In that like as soon as I saw that that's exactly what came to mind so like I just think these are so fun so pumped that I found those all right and again it was a thrift store find oh there you can kind of see all of them but I love the gold and the black and the purple so fun all right and then there was these stickers the farm stickers but again I loved some of the farm animals the dogs um, I have a picture of Wyatt like leaning in and hugging a cow and I just thought that would be perfect um, for that layout. But we have a couple of farm adventures we've taken and so I figured, huh, why not try these? They're really cute. So put that in the embellishment pile. Then for $2 I got some alt new dies. Let me see if I can get this tape off. I mean, if you guys have purchased any alt news, you know, they're not in they're not cheap. So, this one is like a floral die. It's like a whole plate. But it looks like it cuts out like a bunch of little flower pieces. So, this will be fun to play with, but I was super psyched. You guys know how much I love my florals. So that's going to go with the Stampin' dies. And then it came with this, a 3D bowl die. So it actually folds up and makes this cool little, like, folded paper thing. So I don't know. We'll see how this works. But, uh, you know, I saw Alt New and I was like, I got to try it. Their quality is really good. And it was $2 for the two of them. So a dollar a piece. Couldn't pass it up. It was a bargain. All right. <clears throat> so then I have this sticker sheet. I believe I think 
this was given to me, or it might have been in the stash, I don't remember. But I have um, a folder of 12 by 12 stickers, so we'll put those in there. And then all these super fun transparencies. I immediately thought of like December Daily when I saw this one with numbers. How fun is that? Um, and then white gold polka dots. And then numbers, big gold numbers again. My mind went right to December Daily for this one. So those are super fun. So I'm probably going to put those in my Christmas drawer. And then I went to Dollar Tree. And they had some rub-ons. And I actually really like the rub-ons. They work pretty well. At least a couple of packages that I've tried. And what I like to do with them is I like to just... Uh, kind of rub them all on the background of a paper and then layer my other elements on top and for a dollar you don't feel like you're wasting them and it's you know really fun designs like I absolutely love this design so I can't wait to play with it so I grabbed two of those and then this one was a like birthday party and all a bunch of fun but again just words you can use to make like a mixed media background if that makes any sense and then there was this butterfly stencil, which I thought would be fun to play with. Different colors, rainbow, texture paste, you know, thought I'd give it a whirl. It's a pretty thin one, but again, it's just a stencil. So if you tack it down with washi tape, you should be fine. So I wanted to give that a try as well. Then we have um, this Dear Lizzie. I think I had this given to me as well. But a really fun sticker sheet. I love Dear Lizzie. Really fun summer collection. Again, go with the embellishments. I had these given to me as well, which I'm so pumped about. Scrapbook.com. These are jumbo tag dies. Again, I was thinking about my 6x8 albums, my um, story album, my December daily, like, or regular layouts. You know, you can use it for anything, but I was so pumped that um, I, I these are given to me. I can't even believe it. Um, so I'm so excited to play with these dies. And then this one was given to me as well. It's a Sizzix die, and it came with a floral stamp and some dies to cut out these flowers. So this will be really fun to play with. That's what it looks like. It's a kind of fun and whimsical flower. But again, this came with the tag dies, so I was super excited about that. And then, what do we got in here? I think, oh yeah, this stuff was given to me as well. So these are some embellishments that I need to put in my containers, but these were also given to me and I couldn't say no, I couldn't say no, because I love these gold. These are crepe paper, I believe. And there's like bees and flowers absolutely gorgeous and so these were just gonna go in the trash and I'm like excuse me I will take them because they're absolutely beautiful and you know I love gold I love crepe paper I love leaves I, I love all of it so I snagged all the gold pieces so these will also go in with my embellishments probably put them in I think I have a Maggie Holmes container if I recall so let me so these will all go in there oh it's so pretty and then um, also these are I think great paper or Maggie Holmes I want to say they were from her I don't know might have been from the sunny days collection actually or right around that era but these are just some foam banners with words that I think are fun and I'll use another leaf and then a couple of black and white pieces like frames I love frames a number two and some tags again just really great elements that I couldn't bear to see just tossed out and then oh look at that a jumbo gold butterfly love it and then uh, pink fresh a whole pack of journaling cards now I'm not usually a big fan of purple but this collection is very pretty I love it. 
so we can definitely make it work. So anyways, it was given to me and I, like I said, I couldn't say no. Um, and there we have it. So we've kind of separated out the tray and so now we need to put everything away. Oh, I forgot, I got some translucent stickers, wedding, which is perfect because I want to fit finish my wedding album. So I got those as well. So let me put my tray back and then we're gonna put all of this away. All right, so first things first, I'm actually going to put these into my Christmas drawer. And these transparencies, I'm gonna put up with my paper pads. Let's see, there's quite a few of them in there. Really fun, anyways. So this is gonna go in my paper pads. Okay, I'm gonna do cardstock last because that's kind of big. So these are gonna stay with my embellishments, unopened embellishments. This goes in my six by 12 stickers. And here is my Crete Paper, Maggie Holmes, and Pink Fresh, Paige Evans. All of the goodness is in here. So I think we're gonna put the gold in with these. Yep. And then I have this long banner. I don't really want to... I wonder if I can fit. <laughs> I can, right alongside. Perfect. And then these little banners, I'll actually just toss them here too. And then we've got frames and number and tags. Okay, so these, I'll probably put these with my Project Life. Those are my frames. And we'll just pop number two in there. Beautiful. Done. All right, let's get that stuff. I am actually gonna put, I think, the frames in with my Halloween. Because of the black and white. And, let's see here, vintage. I think I'm going to also put my Project Life in here. I'm going to need another container, but for now, these should all fit. Perfect. So now it's all together, and I'll know where to find it. Halloween. Oops. All right, let's get my project life. All right, so this container is just for exactly this, like little random tags um, that I like to use, little vellum pouches, tiny stickers, so on and so forth. So there's that. And then this one, I've been actually keeping my project life in just because their shape is different. And so I don't mix them in with the rest. All right, let's see how best to open this. Wow, we're making great progress. We are almost done. Feels good to tackle this tray, I tell you. I always say that, but it really does. It really does feel good. Okay, so we've got all of these. Beautiful cards. Um, let's see if I can get, there we go. Aren't these gorgeous? They're so pretty. I just not a huge fan of the round edges, but like I said, I can still make them work. So we're gonna plop those in there. Oh, speaking of time, 20 minutes is up. So if you're only committed to 20 minutes, you're done. You've made, you've committed. Hopefully you've got something accomplished and 
you can now go play. Or, you know, you can stick around and hang out with me still as I complete this, putting these items away. But great job. Hopefully you accomplished a task tonight. You've earned your playtime. So enjoy. All right, so these are just going to go in here. So Project Life, Project Life. And then we have so many beautiful gold pieces. You know, I'm going to actually plop these in with my Maggie Crate Paper embellishment box I just had. Which is getting quite full. And let's see how that long piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Can't do that. We need to get creating here and work through this box. <laughs> it's getting a little full. A little unorganized, too. It might have to take some time to reorganize it. Okay. So we've got some gold shapes here. These are smaller stars and such. So I think we'll plop them in here. I've got some butterflies that can go in here with little banner phrases, some florals. Beautiful. I love the gold. Love the gold. So just categorizing them the best to my ability. It's not perfect, but it's been working. This has been working really well for me. Although I am getting a little chunky at this time. So, like I said, we're going to have to start uh, outputting some layouts here. I love all the gold. We got some banners. I think those will stick in here. There's a ton of embellishments in this kit. It's like a jackpot. I love it. Even if I didn't use the Project Life cards, it would have been worth the... I think I spent $3 just for the embellishments alone. Alright, key. <laughs> That's a locking key. That's cute. All right, so those are put away. Fabulous. So let's go put these back on the shelves. So this is kind of unorganized, but these are basically all my packaged embellishments that are unopened. Um, yeah, and I just toss new ones in here. I really need to like tidy it up, but Again, this works for me, so I don't typically go into this basket until I've cleared out some of my other embellishments. But a lot of this is like a ton of leftovers from all my shopping sprees that I've done over time. Um, but there's also some stuff like these I need to like actually break down and put into my acrylic container. I just haven't done it yet. So I definitely need to go through this bin. I could pare it down for sure. So stickers. Okay, I'm going to plop in here. I think I had another pack of embellishments here somewhere. So dimensional stickers, yeah. So I think I'm going to put these in here for now. And the rest are dies and rub-ons. Okay, so that's going to go in here. A binder for rub-ons. Oh, which I already had one of those. Oopsie. I should probably... Uh, use those and I have some more Dollar Tree. Let's see if we can fit some more in here because these are a little big. I 
Let's put these in the front. Oh my. These do not go in here. <laughs> well, the flat stickers do actually, maybe. Hold on, what's this one? Yep, flat stickers. So I just didn't put them back. Shame on me. Oh, those don't go in here though. And I think these are tiny words. Yeah, okay. See, lesson learned, do not, you know, put things away. So you're not dealing with this when you come back, things falling out. Learn from, from my mistakes. And do as I say, not as I do, right? That's how the saying goes. I think anyway. All right, so that, oh, I do have puffy words in here. There we go. I just created more work for myself because I didn't put these away when I should have. Here we have it. All right, stencils, I have a binder as well. This is also on my to-do list because I need. I think I need to go the bigger binder route, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's the route I'm gonna go. But for now, they're gonna go in here. All right, so then we have dies. And so these are going to go in this container and I will repackage them, but I'm not going to do that tonight. But I will make that a separate 20 minute motivator probably. What I like to do is I like to just um, build up, I build up some inventory sometimes before I go ahead and repackage. So we got those in there and repackaging for another day. Oh, we're almost done. All right, stickers. And then the last thing is the cardstock. So let's get this by color here. Somewhat, in somewhat color order. All right, we got blue. I love this because it's got like a texture to it. So I was so excited to see that come through. So this is just regular printer paper. Got some pink. my pinks and purples are in the same folder. Orange, yellows, blues, and green. All right. So now let's get the folders and get these in there. Actually, these are more like the teal colors. I actually thought I had like a blue blue, but it looks like this is all my blues. So we'll pop these in here too. See, I haven't labeled these yet, and I really need to, so I can see them from the edge. That'll be a task for another day. 
All right. We've got pinks and purples. and yellow. All right, done. Awesome. All right, and this is a nice red and I'm just gonna put this with Christmas. Because that's most often the only time I use red. But if I need red, that's where I would look for it. So just a little tip. Um, when it comes to organization, it and you guys hear me preach this all the time. But you really need to understand how you're going to look for your product. So I have majority of my cardstock in these scrapbook.com folders here, right? But when it comes to the color red... In my mind, I immediately think of Christmas. And so I'm not gonna put this with the rest of my cardstock. I'm gonna go put this in my Christmas drawer. So see, I have the same product organized in two different ways because of how I'll seek it out. So again, I just wanted to point that out because it's not a one size fits all storage solution for the same product. So keep that in mind as you're working through this stuff. All right, let's get this put away. And get cardstock put away. All right, and last but not least is this Echo Park sticker sheet, but actually as I look at the colors that I'm at, I'm gonna put this on the kit on my desk and just pull from it, because it, the colors match beautifully. So, there, that is taken care of. And we have officially dealt with all of those products. Yay, I'm so glad I put those away. So. That it, and that is the conclusion of a 20 minute motivator. We went a little beyond 36 minutes, but hey, we got it done. I, there's no way I would have ended halfway in the middle or a little, you know, 20 minutes, right? And that's what I love about these videos or this concept of 20 minutes, right? It's a way to get the ball rolling and get you motivated and help you see something through. But even if you stop at 20 minutes, you at least accomplish something, right? So anyways, if you're new and you stuck through the end, thank you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And uh, for those of you who stuck around and you're already a subscriber, as always, I appreciate you so very much in your support. I know a lot of you have said how much you like this series, so I'm gonna keep delivering. Thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.